This video demonstrates the conventional solvent wash plate making process. Before exposing the plate material, it is important to check the raw material thickness with the micrometer. This will give you a point of reference when checking the material after plate drying. The next step is the plate pre or back exposure. The back exposure establishes the floor thickness. The longer the exposure, the thicker the floor, so these times are established during testing to identify the ideal floor thickness. In this particular unit, the plate must then be flipped over for the face or main exposure. Other units may allow you to expose the plate from both sides. Before applying the film negatives, the protective cover sheet must be removed. The film negative should be cleaned and evaluated on a light table. Be sure to check for the appropriate D-Min and D-Max Look for flaws or errors, and be sure that the film is cleaned and free of dust. The film may now be laid emulsion down on top of the plate material. Organize each piece of film in order to maximize plate usage. Once all the film negatives have been placed on the plate, you must then lay down vacuum strips to help draw down the vacuum. These bleeder strips have grooved surfaces which help to draw air or oxygen away from the plate and film and help ensure better contact between the plate and film materials. The next step is to pull down the cream film. As the Mylar vacuum sheet is unrolled, it is important to continuously wipe it down to remove any dust or debris. It is important to always wipe in one direction so as not to drag dust or debris back and forth across the sheet. Inspect the surface for a good tight drawdown. If you notice any high spots, bubbles, or any other irregularities, be sure to correct the problem before exposing. Once you know that the film contact is good, you may proceed with the main exposure using the preset times. The desired times are established through testing to identify which exposure time produces good minimum dots, fine lines, reverses, and shoulder support. Once the main exposure is complete, you can release the vacuum Roll back the mylar sheet, remove the bleeder strips, and carefully remove the negatives. With some plate materials, you may actually be able to see the latent image from the main exposure. The next step is the solvent plate washout. This unit is an all-in-one unit which includes a solvent washout. Some washout systems have a flat bed like this one. Others may be rotary 
and yet others may pull the plate through a separate washout system. Washout times are established to ensure all unexposed material is removed while minimizing the plate's exposure to solvents. Brushes oscillate back and forth, agitating the solvent over the plate which helps to draw the unexposed plate material away. This used solvent is then reclaimed, removing the solvent particles so the same solvent solution can be used again. The plate is now ready for drying. This process will burn out the solvents that were absorbed by the plate material. As mentioned before, this is an all-in-one unit. So there are two dryers located in the bottom drawers. Other systems may have a separate dryer unit. There are also high speed dryers available that help to dry the plates quicker. Minimum dry times are established to bring the plate back to its original plate thickness. Once the drying is complete, the material should be mic'd again to check the finished material thickness. It is important to check both the floor and base thickness in multiple locations around the plate. By checking the face of the material, you can make sure that you have not over or under dried the plate as compared to its original plate thickness. By checking the floor, you are able to establish whether you have the correct plate relief. The final two steps in the plate making process are post exposure and detach. The post exposure solidifies any remaining material on the plate and more importantly brings the plate up to its final correct durometer. Detach is a UVC light after treatment which helps to minimize or eliminate plate tackiness. This concludes the conventional solvent wash plate making process. For additional information, contact all printing resources or email us at info at teamflexo.com.